Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get into the last episode of this first season of Arcane. As you guys know, we've been watching this for now about two months and it's been a pretty good ride. Uh, I think that there's a bunch of up and downs as far as development characters and stuff, but overall the quality is pretty high. I love the story, the, the music is fun and I think that it definitely deserves a lot of the praises that it had been uh, getting. Uh, and I haven't been checking the comments for series like this where I don't know what's going to happen as opposed to some of the other stuff where we're like, uh, have read the manga first or something. When we watch things like these, I don't read the comments until we're over because people will constantly post spoilers and, uh, this, this and that. And usually by the time the season ends, uh, those, those comments I've been justified on. So I've, I've even, uh, had talks on the one run, but we'll do a like talk session maybe after we're finished with these. So, we're gonna go ahead and get into this last episode, see how they finish up the whole Vi, Caitlyn, and Jinx thing. Because I'm gonna be honest, the rest of it right now with like Heimerdinger and Jace, whatever Jace is doing, it's like up and down. I want to see what happens to Victor more than what happens to Jace. Because more or less, Jace has finished his path. Once he picked up the hammer, I mean, his personality may or may not change this and that the hammer may improve and stuff but otherwise he's the same victor's reaching his stage like as even emotionally with him losing his woman and we'll just have to see what this episode entails i think a lot of it's going to be set up for the next season i'm hoping because that's what you would need to keep pushing the story here but there's only one way to tell we're gonna have to watch and see so thank you guys if you've been watching from the past to here to whatever i really do appreciate you and uh hopefully you'll enjoy watching this episode as well so I'm gonna guess his age. I'm gonna say eight, maybe six, maybe ten. It's really tough for me to tell in our animated. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Not me. Come on. You're not even man enough to do your fucking job, let alone fucking clean up the city, bro. I'm very disappointed in him if this is all it took to throw him off his path. They could have just held a kid hostage in front of him, and that would have been it. Sure you will. Ha 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 ha! Ah, no. He's 100% knows what he was doing there. If his mom runs shit... He knew what was up. I know people who work for runners. Come on, or kids of runners. They knew. Not me, Rennie. I don't. Yeah! Any reasonable... Like, his underlings are all shit, which is why he can't get anything done. Because any reasonable gang of people under someone like Soko would have taken him out by now. He's made too many mistakes. He's fucking up. That sucks for him. He's actually the only one I feel actually sad for because there was nothing in his intention that led to that. He even had the door locked. She came in and unlocked the door into that. And I'm not saying it's her fault either. What I am saying is that sucks, bruh. Unfortunate. This is probably the best written part of this, honestly, so far. Like, Victor's story is probably some of the most interesting, best writing. I was gonna say, you're too far now. Why does he seem weaker than when he was? I'm very confused. He was walking a while back, wasn't he? <laughs> he can't hurt it, huh? That's interesting. See, now that... Oh, yeah. Seems like the core is controlling him more than he's controlling the core. That's interesting way to take it. I still am very interested to see if these are connected to... These people are connected to Zed or who else besides just Noxian. Wow. Ooh, that's her weakness, though, though, spreading through. Let me just say that, um... That's her weakness spreading through as well, right? Uh, she's making... I think she makes a point, right? I do think Mel's probably too soft-hearted. Doesn't, right? And I and I think her mother's the exact opposite, too hard-hearted. But 
she said it herself right there. We'll rewind it. Yeah, uh, it weakened me. She couldn't handle the pressure of her daughter's eyes, which, hey, that's actually kind of a respectable trait, right? I couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions that needed to be made. Yeah. She looks like a child, too. Well, she's looking there, which is good. This is a very good scene. Like, this stuff, why is this so much better than the, uh, the main stuff for me? Is it because I just don't care about Jinx like everybody else does? Like, I literally could give two fucks about her. Nice scene there. You have to destroy it. I know. The hex code. I, I can't, can't do, it. do it. You have to. Please. He's asking you, bro. Be a good friend. <laughs> but he's asking you to do it. Man. God damn it, bro. I promise. We lost, we lost our dream. In the pursuit of a great dream, we have to do it. We have to make it right. Best intentions, my friend. Jinx is gonna save him. That's a or her, she's gonna get the other ones. Yep, killed both of them. Very nice. He's not going to kill Jace and pull a ca the death of a counselor. They would destroy most of the underground. He doesn't. It's not a price. Sure. Yep. Then you have to pay. Believe me. If I had it my way, it'd be you running in still water. But we can't make a deal with a snake and cut off its head. We both have our shitty parts to play. Get me cheeks, and I'll give you your nation of Zon. Actually, here's the thing. It's not necessarily the bad play, and I'm going to give it to Jace here for, honestly, the dealing run, because... Even though he did it because he doesn't want to destroy them all, and I actually respect that. I thought it was because he couldn't handle killing anybody, but he just doesn't want to kill all of them. That's actually much more respectable. And I've been having this on the whole time, didn't I? Ha, of course I did, because why wouldn't I? That's about half of the episode. Damn, he's still all fucked up. Then again, he didn't get a shimmer treatment <laughs> from Singed. Yeah. How's it feel to be on the other end? I like how it echoes things there. If you saw it sketched, his name's right behind Silco. Is there anything so under as a daughter? See, with the shimmer eyes, I like it way more. I'm not sure. See, I think these guys are hired on and not, you know, whatever, but... Oh, please tell me Vi kills this bitch. Everyone out. Oh, no, no, no. I'd say everyone stay. You had enough balls to be in this bar knowing how it got to you. Stay. Live with those decisions. Told you the real wild? She's so nice. Like, <laughs> were that like a real life interaction like that? Bruh. That whole bar would have probably just gotten shot up or... Blow, or lit on fire. Oh yeah, her uh, her shimmer copy variant made by who the f knows who is gonna have anything on these hex tech gauntlets. Honestly, she'd kill her in one hit, but she's hero material. Fuck it. There we go. I'm just saying, those gauntlets are fucking busted. The sword is her nicest thing. 
But I once again doubt it's going through those fucking mining gauntlets that are made to break fucking, uh... Oh, cool, it shoots lasers, though. Yeah, see, it's not going through those that gauntlet. I'm honestly... Yeah, no, it shouldn't, definitely wouldn't go, but whatever. Hey, all right. Now, are they going to have her continue to not have that tooth is the question. Okay, that gauntlet doesn't work, so she's just using the one. So now she's going to do while injured, which she couldn't do with one, two gauntlets, she's going to do with one. I always love the anime logic. Gotta love it. The power, but it's the power of family, so I'm not gonna question it, because that's like, once again, every animated series ever. Oh, she can make a shield. Alright, that's a good reason for her to win. Rip her arm off. Please kill this dumb bitch. Into the thing. She's not finished. There's another hit you need to go do there. Please don't. <laughs> Alright, she's just too tired to finish it. Oh no. Just the anger. That's not even the one that you need to finish though. That is just the one in front of the one you need to finish. Oh girl, you got a long way ahead of you. But you're not gonna- you better kill this bitch if you're still going after her, I swear to god. Or him. I swear to God, you better finish this bitch off so you don't have another threat at your back. Oh, hey, it's Jinx. Oh, all right. Hey, there you go. Jace has brokered a peace with Silco in exchange for the Undercity's independence. Once again, they would never... Yep. Like I said, they, they would never, ever agree to it. They'd need the majority of the council... And I don't. Th and once again, unless he uses his uh, power, I'm not sure how he's gonna get away with it. Like I said, the blackmails will be the way that I could see them getting away with it. But otherwise, I don't know how you would get all these wealthy, powerful people to give up a source of their wealth of power. But everything was the same as when Bander left him. But he didn't make a jinx. Yeah. You know what? That's uh. No, I mean, you're crazy ass made Jinx. But you blame other people for your own mental instability, but. You never left. I always heard you. Shadows in the streets. Prickles on the back of my neck. Yeah. You mean your own crazy ass? Voice. Pushing me. Picking me up. When all. She's made a bomb to blow up the city, right? Oh, she got Silco too. Off screen. Proving that uh you know, he really didn't Oh. All the time saying you abandoned me when he knew the truth. Liar. We're missing someone. All right, Caitlin, for no reason cuz she's stupid and crazy. <laughs> You know, if she shot Silco, oh uh, no. Oh, she has the mini gun. I think Jinx is fast enough now with the fucking uh, stuff to not give a shit though. She has a bomb, but this is a good ploy, I think. Oh, she's still paying attention. Oh no, he's gonna go for it. Once again, there's... Yeah, there we go. Alright. And I like it because she has the boost for it. This is so much, like, build for shit I just don't even care. <laughs> yeah, that might not be the best thing. Yeah, maybe...
We never did get to see their mom. Well, at least she f picked in the final moments. I guess that somewhat redeems her. Because it's gonna be, they're not gonna kill Vi. It's just, it's one of those shitty parts about knowing what's going on already. Right? Like, I, that's the only part that sucks about knowing some of the story beforehand. Right? Like, because I know. Yep. Oh, man. The big dramatic. Not that dramatic, not that makeup for it, but yeah, cool. Good choice, finally. Took uh, nine episodes, but you finally did that. No, 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 no. I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. And then the top bottom siders would have killed you off, too, so. Eventually, they would a bunch of them would have come and got him. She's absolutely not. She's fucked up. I'm sure her brain, a uh, whole big bag of cats. Whole big bag of crazy. And once again, I mean, it's all lip service, let's be honest, because if he really cared about Jinx, then he wouldn't have pressured her into making decisions. She would have let her make her own decisions. Nope. I am a monster you created. So now how does one get created? If they're not going to give them their, uh, or is it, is it still just the underground nation? Oh, is this how she makes uh, her one? Her transforming gun? Then we go into the Jinx video with the raining bombs. Look, we finally get to use the shark tooth thing here that we made for the for the thing. Oh, is it going to kill her? If it does, then Jace is definitely going to go to war and not stop. Say that... <laughs> Say that again and think, oh yeah, see, look. Yep. Too bad. Alright, so they don't get to be on their own. Thank God, I was like, no way they're going to play that off as a both happening. Oh, and it's the end. Alright, well. Oh, and the end ends, so they took us straight to a go look at something else shit. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed watching once again. If we get some good, decent views on these videos, we might do season two when it comes out in probably a year or two. Uh, at earliest because that's how the Netflix and uh, animated runs do when you do the seasons same stuff they do with Demon Slayer same stuff they do with Jujutsu Kaisen and when you put that much work and effort into the animation and, and technical budget it just takes time to make you can't just pump it out every week um, but yeah I mean it was a fun ride I really enjoyed it I think if I had to give the series a rating I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10 pretty much solid on all aspects with uh, little pieces here and there that I thought could have been bumped up and uh, if you got any suggestions or if you do want to see more arcane go ahead and throw it down in the comments below or hit us up on our discord to let us know there if you'd like to do that otherwise we are gonna see you next time on a different show for reactions with an X thank you so much for joining us this week and